And so the party in Ostrava continues with the junior boys doubles final, almost an all-Russian affair, apart from Charles Morigat. Standing in the right of center there, stepping forward he, alongside Vladimir Sidorenko, making up a very, very strong partnership. But they're up against Katzman and Grebnev, a pairing that has done well here before crowned champions last year in Romania and a chance to make it back to back golds alongside each other unless Morigan and Sidorenko have something to th say about it all Either way, should make for a thrilling final here. Sidorenko beating the Czech Republic's Tomas Martinko and Radim Bako in the round of 16 then 3 1 win in the quarterfinals against a very strong Azerbaijani pair of Yu and Wang. Perhaps a little surprising at how easily they took care of them. They did lose the first game narrowly though 11 13, then went on to win 11 8, 11 6, and 11 7. So Powerful stuff from them. And a 3 2 victory in the semi finals. And that was earlier this morning. And it's the French pair of Picard and Abalde. A real battle that was. Fantastic match. If any of you had a chance to enjoy it, if you missed it, don't forget you can watch everything re live as well. All the action live on tables one and two here. As we finish things off here today in Ostrava as for the favorites and defending champions Katzman and Grebnev last 16 3-1 victory against Fris and McDonald from Sweden and a 3-0 thrashing of Kai Stumper and Kirill Fadev in the quarters. Not too many expecting a clean sweep against that German pair there. Before a semi final match against Ursu and Kolodzicic. And another 3 0 drumming there. So, certainly coming into this final in very fine form indeed. But they're not going to get it quite as easily. Against Morigard and Sidorenko, however, Katzman and Grebne are very, very well trained with each other. Have been playing as a pair for a while now, and as the defending champions. Well, it would not come as a surprise if they were to pick up a gold once again. But even if they finish with a silver, not a bad two years for them.
first shot there from Sidorenko, but the return to fire it from Monegard. He just couldn't react quickly enough. 36-3 lead here for the defending champions. from Grebnev there. Oh God, sent the ball his way with real pace, but Grebnev, great reactions. What a God, unable to find the table there. So 9-3 up, Katzman and Grebnev, fantastic start from them. Setting down a marker early. Can they build on it though? I think we can expect a reaction from Morigard and Sidorenko in game two. However, game one not done and dusted just yet. Although six points now for Katzman and Grebnev would suggest that this first game will go their way. Katzman and Morigard already facing each other yesterday. In the Junior Boys singles quarter final, Morigard coming out on top there with a 3 1 win. Chance now for Lev Katzman to get some sort of revenge. They're beating him to gold here in the doubles. That will do it. Katzman straight down the middle. Morigard unable to react in time, so game one goes to the Russian pair as they take it 11-7 here in this Junior Boys doubles final in Ostrava. Sidorenko serving to Grebnev here in game two. Again, good start from Grebnev and Katzman. Taking both points early against the serve. by Grebnev there. Much to his own surprise, it would seem. Much better that time from Sidorenko and Morigan. Back to all square. Oh, had plenty of time to wind up that one. Maxim Grebnev, make no mistakes with the outcome. Unable to find a return there from our wide, but was always in trouble. Maxim Grebnev shortly after. <laughs> Monegard and Sidorenko starting to battle their way back into this now. Oh, 
lovely return from Grebnev there. Let the ball do all the work for him. Just made sure his racket was in the right place. His bat, excuse me, in the right place at the right time. Oh, lovely from Katzman there. To all square, six apiece. Just when it looked like Morigard and Sidorenko were starting to find a bit of rhythm. Kasman and Grevnev quickly shut it down. That's better. Easy point that time for Morigard. from Sidorenko. Shift of the body. Just create the space. A little bit of help from the top of the net as well, making life difficult for Grebnev. Oh God, Sidorenko now 9-6 up and a chance to level the score up overall as well. There from Sidorenko. And again, Sidorenko unable to find the table. So 8 9 now. Morigard pounces forward to secure two game points. Enough to serve. And there it is. Sidorenko and Morigard take game two 11 8. As this evenly matched final continues to impress. Stay glued. As fireworks are guaranteed here in this junior. Oh, his doubles final. that one back and he's rewarded for his efforts as well quick to apologize of course plenty of respect between these two pairings three of which know each other very well oh beautiful from Katzman Just about catching the table again. Grebnev looks to the skies for answers, but not a lot you can do about those. Some call it luck, some call it the perfect shot. Either way, point goes Morigard, Sidorenko's way, but back come Katzman and Grebnev. To 
re-establish their lead, albeit just the one point at the moment. Superb little rally that. Modigard sends it long. He hasn't quite been at the races, Charles Modigard. To be fair, Sidorenko has been quite quiet as well. Six now, Katzman and Grebnev lead. As we head into crunch time here in game three. The technique there. And Grebnev on that forehand. Just waited for the perfect time to take it. Oh, another great forehand from Katzman. Really has been the unsung hero in this match almost. Hardly put a foot wrong, and some of his defensive play has been outstanding. Another great backhand from Katzmann to take game three, 11 6. So it's Katzmann and Grebnev who lead 2 1. Now, one game away from a, another gold in the junior boys' doubles. Oh, what a way to kick off game four. Sensational stuff. Unbelievable table tennis. Fitting for a final. And again. Not quite as good as the first, but not far off it. 1-1. These four young men certainly mean business.
side here from Modigard and Sidorenko. One of the most animated players here in Ostrava. Lives and breathes every match. Struggles to stay still most of the time. But great to watch. Great to see that sort of enthusiasm at such a young age as well. Just always determined to be at his best. And more often than not is, especially here in the doubles. to plan there seven five up now four points away from back to back european championships in the junior boys doubles for grebnev and katzman looking to make history once more sidorenko off the mark there five eight and a timeout called from his and Monogard's corner. And Morigard and Sidorenko. Timeout working out well at the moment. Back to within one. Pushed long by Morigard. 9-7. Misses. So edge of your seat stuff now. Here at this vital stage of the fourth game. Oh, a lovely return by Katzman there. Morigard doing his best to keep it alive. But Katzman reacting just as quickly. Now two match and championship points for Grebnev and Katzman. Back 
Back to 10 10. Going down without a fight. No surprises there, though. Both these pairs deserving of a gold medal with the way they've been playing here in Ostrava at the 62nd European Youth Championships. But sadly, as we all know, only one of them can walk away with the gold. Another match in championship point now for the Russian pair in red. Turn from Sidorenko there. What a time to pull it out of the bag as well. Pushed long there though. Looks slightly off balance when he went for it. Almost on one foot. Not quite planted and in position and it cost him in the end so another opportunity now for Katzman and Grebnev oh and there it is Grebnev and Katzman just like last year in Romania secure gold again for Russia in the junior boys doubles it's back-to-back -back golds for them silver for Modigard and Sidorenko after another fantastic final here 